Hello. Hello, friends. How are we doing? Shushing ourselves in the foot and being your own friends. There's a bear. There's a cure. There's a miss. Welcome to this well-planned stream. Um. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why, I just had a hankering to play Morrowind, and I did a bit in my spare time, and then I thought, wouldn't it be fun to stream this and just show how well made it is? <laughs> Cold and wet, but getting warm. I mean, as long as it's getting warm in such a way that it doesn't flood, that's good. Can't wait to Skyrim horse around the space stations and through the nuclear wastelands. Bethesda. So fun, I, I think this is the first of the sort of what you would expect as modern Bethesda games, because prior to this, this game was published by Bethesda, but made by someone else. I think. Um, this was the first one where Bethesda were in charge of everything. Um, and then they did Fallout 3. Was that before or after Oblivion? I remember. Um, sometimes you just want to play stuff, I know. So we're going to start a new game. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. Zurin something. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to his uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They. You can choose your gender, thank you very much. Much jank. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. Pardon? First by carriage and now by boat. To the east. Tomorrow, wind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. We've been chosen. Wake up. Yeah. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Let me know about volumes and all that. Stand up. It's Jib. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? It's Jib. He becomes a saint. You're finally awake. You're finally awake. I'm, we're a prisoner and we're finally awake, as begins every Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> that never changes. Um, What is our name? Excellent question. What is our name? An interesting shape. Welcome to Morrowind. <laughs> By the way, I should specify, we're not actually playing Morrowind, um, we're playing OpenMW, which is a open source fan-made engine that runs Morrowind that isn't actually... Cramp, cramp, um, that isn't actually Morrowind, so... Um, and as a consequence, you can keep it playing on, like, new operating systems and stuff like that. You don't have to bug fix it every time there's new operating system stuff. Uh, and people can add quality of life things and mod it and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's neat. The cramps. Not even last night's storm could wait. Speak up. Music's loud. Heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. We've reached Morrowind, everyone. Um, there's, there's, uh, option. Audio. More voice. Lovely though the music is. Let's turn that down a smidge. There's not a lot of voice acting in this game, but we might as well let it do its thing. Anyway, yeah, this is Jib. He's neat. We will never see him again. Here's a guard. Quiet. Here comes the guard. You can tell me to be quiet. This is where you get off. Come with me. <laughs> Evidently, they changed some of the dialogue in the thing as well. Let's see if we can beat him. Yeah, I got in front of you. That is not easy. Off we go. We're being released to the beautiful land of Morrowind. Ah, no, you didn't get this draw distance on the original game. I can tell you that. <laughs> this is Illustrator. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock, and I'll show you to the census office. Can do. You finally arrive, but our records don't show from where. Who are we? We have a wonderful variety of faces, including this one, this one, this one, this one. 
Hey, look, it's Jib. <laughs> but yes, we can be... It doesn't really matter what race we're going to be. I, I like the idea of being a mage. We might do some mage with guild things. We'll beat the game by the end of the stream. That, that's easy, but... Maybe we'll do mage stuff. Who's a good mage? Should we be a lizard? The gender of the lizard is whether or not you have fins. Look at the frills! I like the frills. The frills are nice. I like them. We be we be Argonian. Hurrah! Uh, we got alchemy. We're quite for athletics. It's good for running and stuff. Uh, illusion, medium armor, mysticism, spear, unarmored. Nice. Fine. I got used to be a little cutie. A little cutie. Pat pat. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Oh, it looks nice. Let's go. We're fast. Argonians are fast. Hello. Ah, yes. yes we've, we've been, been expecting, expecting you. you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. May I have played this before. Uh, we lost the Argonian maid. We can only hope. Um, i uh, fill out the form myself. Right, so. Specialization. Magic. We're a magic friend. Um, favorite attributes? We're pretty speedy, but we could be faster. Um... I like intelligence. Let's do intelligence and speed. That seems fun. Major skills. Um, now, as is the case in, uh, I think, all Elder Scrolls games up until Skyrim, um, you have like major and minor skills, and as you level those up, you level up. Um, however, unlike in Oblivion, as I hear, um, the world doesn't level up with you, so you don't have to worry too much about what you put there. Um, so I'm going to give... Uh, alchemy. I like alchemy. Alchemy's good. Um, mysticism. I can't remember what. Alteration? Alteration sounds good. The mysticisms. Going with some light armor as well. We can defend ourselves. Spears? Why not? Um, we're apparently good with spears. All together now. We will not play Skyrim after watching this. None of us need to play Skyrim. We haven't played Skyrim in a long time. We don't need to. Nothing's changed. There are other games. Exactly. Um, there's never a need to up to acrobatics. You will get enough of that playing the game. Um, destruction? I don't really know. Um, swords? Long blade. Why not? Uh, conjuration. Athletic, sure. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the, our class is re, re, reclass. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain... Lusty Argonian maid. And yeah. what would that be? Cute. What sign were we born under? Um, typically I take uh, the tower, because I can just unlock things. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Interesting. Now before I stamp these Beautiful. Things, make sure this information is correct. Make sure the information's correct. Yes, it sounds fine. We have not a lot of health, but we don't worry about that. Stats, menus. I'm no longer a prisoner. We are a free lizard. And we will celebrate our freedom by uh, the stealing this. Oh, oh yeah, I probably should, probably shouldn't have that, should I? Sorry. Sorry. You through to the next building and talk to See, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Cheers. It's a well-polished game. Right, we do what we, everybody does when... Um, they first start Morrowind, which is just, uh, just nick everything. We'd be a fancy potato and steal all things. Mine, 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 Um, this is intended because occasionally when you pick things up, it's like, hey, look, if you can equip daggers and then they're weapons and it gives you tutorials. You can eat bread. Did you know? You can drink potions and alcohol. We almost certainly don't need to do this. Lockpicks can be used to unlock things. Light sources can make things lighter. 
ingredients can be used to do things. Uh, do you want to see how, how lock picking works in this game? You equip the lock pick, and then you do this for a bit. There we go, we got it. Pretty quick. Why oh, didn't the outliers finish Morrowind? Because they were over encumb. <laughs> there is an enemy that can sap your strength and you're just sort of stuck in the place not being able to move. Annoying. Like that, we've got a magic ring. We won't keep it for long. Hello, Celis Gravius. Here are my papers. Take your identification papers. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I'm Solus Gravius. Blah, 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 blah. Morrowind. Yes, I have duties to do, which is find Caius Casades and then do some things for him. I will never meet him. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> right, we're free. Don't have time for this, so make it quick. Shut up, Fargo. Anyway, here's your ring. There you go. I found it in a barrel. There you are. You're welcome. I gave him his ring back. The veiny arms. You got veiny arms? He does. Let's ha harvest some mushrooms. We have some mushrooms. Would you like some mushrooms, sir? Oh, I have a thing that makes people move out of the way if you walk into them. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Cool. Anyway, this is Sadenin. It's a little swampy place. We won't be here for too long. I mean, we are going to be here till midnight, but don't worry about it. Hello. I'm going to sell you all the stuff I just necked. Um, sell, sell. All of the above, please. Uh, actually, not all of the above. We'll keep the ingredients, because I want to do alchemy. I can have my very important papers that I need to continue the game. Hope you like this sound. There we go. That's 500 gold. Um, should we get a weapon? Nah. Give me more money. That wasn't necessary of you. But you have my thanks. Thank you, P -P -P -G 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 Hunter. Thank you very much. Cool. Cheers. I'm waiting. She's waiting. Now this guy, he's got an in interesting proposition. Say something or move on. Which that guy we just gave a ring to, we can steal his ring. Oh, exciting. Let's do that. <laughs> Greetings to Yes. Excuse me. Oh look a tree stump. Mushrooms. Thank you. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Steal everything. Harvest all things. More mushrooms. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the lighthouse. So apparently, there's an oobs. Hi, oobs. It's an Elder Scroll. I'm waiting. She's waiting. Now, we're, 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 I could break this immediately, but there's no fun at that, so we're going to play it normally. going to steal more stuff, don't worry. Um, as long as I don't see you, it's fine. But yeah, we've been told that Fargoth, the guy we just gave the ring back to, does sneaky things at night, so we're going to watch him. Uh, sure. Don't go. How about you? Plodding along. Where is he? Is he about... Hmm, he's not being sneaky. Is that him? Where's the sneakiness? Hmm. We're the lusty Argonian maid. It's us. Look at us. We're great. He's not doing the thing. AI, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Are you doing the thing? He's not doing the thing. Why is he not doing the thing? I'm going to go back in and come back out. Do we have frog feet? We have lizard feet. Thank you very much. Snake feet. Ah, oh, he's, he's sneaking. Look at him. He's being a sneaky so-and-so. Sneaking around with a bright light in his face. It's neat. Exactly. So we're doing stealth. Even though I said we were a wizard, we're doing stealth. Wizard stealth. I see you. But yeah, we're just, we're just getting some quick loot. I should go and get the guy with the hat. We should do that. If you've never seen that, if you've never seen anything to do with Morrowind before, we should do that. Don't usually do it, but why not? But yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to, like, 
we'll be able to beat the game today, but I don't know if we'll be able to do like the Mages Guild as well. That'd be fun, but we'll see. This is entirely new. Maybe we'll do some more streams at some point. But I just thought we'd do a one-off thing. Where are you sneaking to, sir? Where are you sneaking to? <gasps> are you sneaking to that tree stump I pointed out before? Heavens, what a coincidence. But yeah, how's the noobs? Is the noobs good? <gasps> he has finished dealing with the tree stump. We can survive this, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Some bits of oblivion in Skyrim, but nothing else. This is Morrowind. It is the northeast of Tamriel. <gasps> he hid a bunch of money and that ring and also a lockpick in there. Cool, that's mine now. Bye. You're good. Got some metallic watercolors and you're dabbling. Ooh, exciting. There's a mud crab. There's always mud crabs. It's also dark, yes. Morrowind is pretty dark. I have the open MW gives us a like minimum darkness thing, which is very handy. Um, but yeah, where do I go from here? Lick the mud crab. Uh, there's no lick command, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wander through the little swamp a little bit. It's quite a swampy, ashy, barren place, Morrowind. It's the place where the Dark Elves come from. The Dunma. Um, it's a whole province. <laughs> Hello there. They're dead. Um. And we have the hat now. What do you mean there's no lick command? You're a lizard. You lick your eyeballs for fun, what the actual fuck? <laughs> for fun? Is that, is that how that works? Let's get a fancy robe. And sh well, we can't put shoes on because we've got big feet, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so this guy has Scroll of Icarian Flight, which boosts our acrobatics by a thousand points for seven seconds, which means you can jump really high. However, because it's for seven seconds, it, run it, it runs out before you can land, so you just die. <laughs> it's a good time. We can sell them and also get a sword. I forgot about that. Nice, we've got a good sword. Anyway, back to uh, town. I just wanted to show you that because it's always... It's a good thing. <laughs> It's a good silly thing that happens. Oh, we could go that way, and that's uh, fine. I'll, I'll introduce you to the Silt Striders. Got interrupted by Sky Guy. <laughs> but yeah, he made the mistake of um, fortifying his acrobatic. It's basically a kind of tutorial on, hey, the magic system in this game is powerful, but also real dangerous. <laughs> that's fine. We won't, we won't uh, interact with that at all. Uh, anyway, Silstriders. So Silstriders are big old bugs. Um, and you can ride in them. They're cute. I like them. You don't actually ride in them. They're just like... You teleport, basically. They're, they're fast travel, we essentially. A special trip just for you. They're me. Same low price. Cheers. Let's go to Balmora. Balmora! The first biggish town. Just for you. It's quite dark. Same low price. Let's see it in during the day. Balmora! I like this place, it's neat. Pat pat. This is kind of your base of operations for the first half of the game. It's a cool place. You can walk here, it's, it's a big old open world. We're on a we're on a big island. Do we, have, do we have a map? We have a map. Yeah, we're on a big island. It's called uh, Vardenfell, which makes up about half of Morrowind. Morrowind also has a bunch of, like, mainland stuff as well. Oh, cute! Cute Silt Strider art. This is in Discord. The, the, um, Morrowind is very imaginative. It's it's weird how boring Skyrim is in comparison. That's just me. That's just me. Very good gameplay. Much better gameplay than Morrowind. But, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say this game's perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I like it. I've played a lot of it. A lot of it. Uh, cool. Let's, let's sell some of these things. I've got and get a bit of money. Um, there were these scrolls that we got. We, 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 don't worry, we can do big, jumpy things later. We don't have to do it now. 
Um, and I picked up a book, didn't I? There you go. Cool. Money! Nice. Right, Mage's Guild. It's just a thing in this world. I haven't much time. Excuse me. <laughs> That's the guard here. I like the helmets. They're, they're neat. And pauldrons. Say Doesn't... your needs. No. So, Mage's Guild. The guild... Quickly, Outlander, or go away. They're very polite here. Um... Also, you're a foreigner here, and they hate foreigners. It just happens. But that's kind of part of the story, because you end up sort of becoming a very important person in this world because of prophecy and things like that, and you have to convince a bunch of people who don't like you because you're a foreigner that you're actually here to protect the land. It's neat. Um, but anyway, we want to join the Mages Guild. We're not going to do any of that, but we will beat the game. Um, Mages Guild. I want to join the Mages Guild, Rannis Athris. I never said any of these names out loud. <laughs> I'm going to join the Mages Guild. I am the sort of person who can join the Mages Guild, thank you. I am now an associate of the Mages Guild, and I can do some duties. Now, I can do her duties, if if I wish. However, her duties largely um, revolve around killing people who don't want to join the Mages Guild. She's a bit of a mafioso in that respect, so we're going to ignore her and talk to a cat instead. Bite. Do a chomp. I like the atmosphere here, it's very nice. And there's also, there's, you've got orcs here, and you've got high elves here, and you've got dark elves here, and you've got humans is here, and you've got cats is here. This is a Jira. How you doing? You're right, I like you. What brings you to a Jira's shop? Do you want duties from a Jira? Do you want the local brews or help in a fight? Some Telvanni Bagamask or a way to reach the high places? You wouldn't rather talk to a cat. Exactly. Um, I want duties. Because I, I am under your service. Um, before... Uh, Jira can become a journeyman in the Mages Guild. The Jira must study local mushrooms. To finish Jira's report, we need Luminous Russula, Violet Caprinus, Bungler's Bane, and Hypha Fascia. Well, luckily, I picked all of those up before I came here. It's almost like I've done this before. There you go. Thank you. You've given me some health potions. Nice. It's a fancy face paint. No fancy face paint. It's all floof. More duties. You have a bet with Galbadir. Ooh. Interesting, there's somebody else in here and they're having a bet to see who can be the best in the Mages Guild. Ajira made a bet with Galbadir that Ajira would be a journeyman before Galbadir. Now Ajira must study these mushrooms and write a report. Ajira wants you to give Galbadir a fake soldier. We're going to sabotage somebody else's research. Be the Dragon Ball, be the Archmage, be the Prophet of God, be the head of the Thieves Guild, be the head of the Black Hand, etc. <laughs> cool. We're, oh, no, we actually have to do the thing. Um, duties, bet with Galbadir. Fake soldier. Yes. Cool. We are now going to plant a fake soul gem in somebody's desk. My patience is Sabotage! <laughs> Luckily, they've just moved away from their desk and they're coming downstairs now. Hi, how are you doing? You are right. Don't mind me. Whoop. Uh, fake soul gem. In the desk. Also, I will steal this lesser soul gem. That wasn't part of the deal, but I'm doing it. I'm also stealing all of this. And I now go through that door and back, and now she's never going to come upstairs again. <laughs> and by the way, the things I just picked up, this has a value of 60,000 gold. So, you know, we can go get some gold now. Hurry this up, will you? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm this game's fine, don't worry about it. Fake soldier, I've done it, you're very welcome. More duties, you want flowers? Gold cannon, stone power... Pow stone power flettles, willow anther, and heather. We don't have any of those. Some of these should cancel out the others. Be vampirized accidentally, be cured, be vampirized accidentally, be cured, be vampirized. <laughs> you can't be vampirized in this game. Um, this game isn't broken, it's fine. Anyway, let's, let's, um... Well, actually, uh, spells. You've got any good spells? Reflect, apparently, is very good. Dark keeps telling me that's good. I should find, like, mark and recall. That'll probably speed things up a bit. Well, you don't have them. So let's go to Caldera. She can warp us there. There's no fast travel in this game, but there are people who can warp you places. Silt Striders can carry you. Stuff like that. I can't open up a map and say, let's My go here. Is limited. As is your style. Um, do you have anything good? Recall. That's good. I'll have that. Um, also, spell system in this game is nuts. You can make your own spells. It's very broken. Um, but I don't understand how to break it, so we're not going to do that. We'll break something else instead. Um, cool. 
Well, we got recall, so that's half of what we want to do. Then. What do you want? Um, uh, all of your al alchemical gear, please. Hey, look, alchemy gear. It's mine now. Yoink, 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 yoink. We can make potions now. Crab meat. Yum, yum. Uh, these these are like worth two and a half grand each. The world isn't as large, so it might it's not actually be that bad. You've got another thing coming. <laughs> I chose a race that moves much faster than most other races. This is fast. We can get faster though, don't worry about that. Right, we're gonna go into this house with some orcs who are weird. They also have a little friend. This is their little friend, they're called Creeper. They're a scamp. Uh, literally a scamp. That, that's the name of their species. But what they can do is they, they buy things. They have five grand in their inventory and they will buy things at face value. Um, so I'll just sell all this stuff to you. you want stuff? Da, da. That, that as well, sure, why not? Uh, is there one of those? One of those, wow, that's a bit too much now. Um, Sure. Uh, run out of money, but that's fine. We can just wait a day and then get more. <laughs> this game's weird. <laughs> uh, sell that. Buy some other stuff back to make a bit more money off this. Sure. That's another five grand. <laughs> we're not gonna be. We're not gonna be short of money. My business is making money. Um, we'll sell this thing that is is technically worth 60k, but we don't need 60k. It's fine. Um, oh, I don't need the sword. Well, yeah, we'll just we'll buy everything so that we can make more money. Could have gotten 47k, but he's only got five, so we'll we'll make do with that. It's fine. Um, I could instead go out and find the mud crab merchant. There's a mud crab that has more money. Um. Uh, Might need 60k. Well, then we'll get 60k. That's not. It's not difficult to make money in this game. I assure you. <laughs> when you know what you're doing. Anyway, here's all your stuff back. Also, shoes. I don't need shoes. Oh, you don't buy shoes. That's fine. Skooma, the drug of choice. Uh. Oh, there was that. I should have done that first. Who greenlit this? Todd Howard. Good enough. Right, we have 29,000 gold. Let's go. <laughs> God damn it, Todd. <laughs> Wee. Uh, we're going to go this way. Uh, which way to Belmore? That way, nice. Uh, before that though, I want to grab flowers, because we were asked to come out here and get flowers. That's a flower. There's an infinite money glitch in your game, Todd. No, there there are some intended ways to get a lot of money. Is this the way you can get the... Oh, you're coming after me, are you? Okay. Well, say hello to Anna Lit. They're weird. Can we fight them? Also, welcome to Morrowind Combat. It's bad! <laughs> mm, we might have an issue here. <laughs> We're not a fighter! Run! <laughs> Guards, help! <laughs> help me! I'm not, I'm not a fighter, I'm a mage! <laughs> Run in theory. <laughs> there we go. This is walking speed, by the way. That's running speed. Well, that's an alert. Um Okay, maybe we'll just teleport back. <laughs> there, There is a thing nearby that you can get called the Boots of Blinding Speed, which allow you to run like 500 times faster than you normally can, but also you're blind when you do it. And there's a way around the blindness, so you can glitch that, but I don't know what it is. So, what do you want? People are very nice here. <laughs> miss stab miss <laughs> that, yep 
Uh, so the combat in this game is based around. Um, I'm listening. Good for you. Um, is based around. Oh, I, th I think. Does she have some of the flowers she wants? Yes, she does. So let's buy some of those and give them back to her. Um, there's that one. Heather. Willow Anther. So we're just missing a gold connect. We can do that. What assistance do you need? Uh, do, uh, do you have spells? Does anyone have Mark? Spell of Mark would be nice. No? Spell of Levitate. Uh, water breathing. Who is Mark and what does this spell do? So, uh, because you don't have fast travel in this game, ways of getting from place to place uh, are useful. Um, so... There are spells called Mark and Recall. And Mark just sets down a little marker in the world somewhere and Recall teleports you back to your mark. However, I can't recall <laughs> how to find Mark. So... This is a pretty game. I like this game. It's also quite unpleasant in a pretty way. Oh, hi, Mark. Right, gold canet. We're looking for one flower called a gold canet. So you're going to say Mark was just some doo-doo drove you around. <laughs> Recall, technically, is a doo-doo drives you around. Uh, that that weird looking building up there, that's a place that's important for the uh, main quest, which we're not going to do. But we will beat the game. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to have to walk back. <laughs> Actually, I should do it. No, I don't have any. Well, let's let's see if we can buy a, like a scroll or something to help us. I think they both sold the Balmora Temple. Oh, that would that would save me a lot of time. But I've now walked away from Balmora. Thanks, though. Uh, does anyone here sell scrolls? Probably not. You sell scrolls? You don't look like you sell scrolls, but maybe. No. Or spells. I'll take spells. Oh, you sell gold canet. That saves me time. <laughs> that works. Sure. Why not? Uh, this guy is important, but not at the moment. Spells. Stop, thief, you have violated the law. <laughs> One day I'll play Oblivion. Yeah, we, we will we will come back to this person. Not yet, though. I'm going gonna, gonna to hold off breaking the game for a while. Well, we found what we needed. We didn't have to do any foraging. <laughs> well, we did a bit of foraging and got attacked by a dinosaur. And we heard these snazzy things called horses. No. You think there's anything in this world that is like a normal animal? Morrowind is too weird for that, with the exception of rats. There's always rats. Remember, this is fast. <laughs> I chose speed proficiency. <laughs> Stuck. Stuck. Hi, Tib. Welcome to Morrowind. But there's also spiders? I don't think. Well, kind of. I'm actively dying. <laughs> Don't worry. It, should I break this game a little bit just so we can move faster? Pretty sure you can walk faster than this. We're, we're running. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> hey, Jib, how you doing? Yes, God? Okay, cool. Fine. We'll break it a little bit. We won't break it all the way. We'll break it a little bit. Uh, actually, before we go in there... Quick diversion to Ravia, another cat. Has no right words for you. But you do have wares, including a ceramic bowl, which I am in need of. Thank you. Goodbye. He's fluffy. Crank those thighs, a smidgen. Yes, we're playing as a lizard. We're a, we're a mage doing lizard things. We're a lizard doing mage things. Just finished watching a two-plus hour video of people who are really into historical fashion ranking costumes of historical dramas. Nice. Back to RPGs. Have a good RPG. Shush, everybody. Shush. I know. I know. You all like me. That's not not the time. Flowers. I have some flowers for you. There you go. 
You've given me some restore magic. Uh, nice. Duties. Ceramic bowl? Oh, I've just happened to have picked one of those up. What a coincidence. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Anything? Stolen reports? What? Galbadir has stolen Ajira's reports. How dare they? You can't sabotage somebody in the Mage's Guild. What is this all about? Ajira knows Galbadir did not leave the Mage's Guild, so the reports must be nearby. We have to find these reports. What is it, friend? Where are they? Tell me! Yeah, it's fine. There's one. Excuse him, what? <laughs> I love just getting her stuck. Oh, yeah, Bernadette. I know Bernadette. Oh, yeah, hang on, we could have nicked all of this. Well, not nicked, we're allowed to. Um, We're part of the Mages Guild, and they are Mage Supplies. All right. Love her, yeah. Hurry this up, will you? Cool, I have found the stolen reports. Because I am a good friend. You have something to say to me? There you go. Stolen reports. Yeah, there you go. Haha! -ha! We got lots of potions out of that. Um and we've run out of things to do for her, unfortunately. That is that is all our time with the Jira. Thank you very much. Pat pat pat. You're a good friend. Um, can we can we go up? Um well, let's hang on. Yes. Uh, I'm now gonna go. Where am I gonna go? Caldera. Any time now. Not Caldera. Uh, Cedric Moore. That's the one. So we're just zipping around the world. We are now mm. uh, currently over here. <laughs> we started off there. That was Balmora. We went to Caldera briefly. We're now over here. Teleportation is a wonderful thing. No one here likes me. That's fine. I'm listening. You're listening, are you? No. Oh, it's my socks. Okay, so. We're going to break the game just a tiny bit, okay? Just a tiny, tiny bit. Not much, just a tiny bit. Um, right, so this guy sells some alchemy ingredients. And I want to do alchemy. I like alchemy. Alchemy's fun in this game. Um, and the way alchemy works is that various ingredients have four properties that they could have. So, for example, this ash yam here has fortify intelligence, fortify strength, and two other things I don't know because I'm not smart enough. Um, bloat has Drain Magicka and Fortify Intelligence, etc. If you find a couple of things that have the same properties, then you can mix them together and get a potion that has that property. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy some of these Ash Yams because they can fortify our intelligence and we want to be a smart cookie. We want to be a mage. So we're going to get some more intelligence from Netch Leather. I'll show you a Netch as well. They're fun. We're going to buy those. Uh, and then because this is Morrowind, his stock is immediately back. Um, so I can buy some more. And then because this is Morrowind, his stock is immediately back, so I can buy some more. But that's too slow, so I'm going to sell all mine back to him. And now, of course, he has the ones I just sold back to him and the ones that he had before, so we can buy those. So 30 and 15, that's three times as many as there were that he started. Uh, and now he has 30 more, uh, and 15 more. Um, and then I can sell those back to him, if, like there's 60 that I had in my inventory, you can give those back to him, that's fine. Like that. Um, so then he sells 90 of those, um, and 45 of those, that's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, and he sells 90 more. Morrowind's fine. Um, anyway, so we've got a lot of those now. Uh, too many, we're really quite heavy at the moment. Um, but that's fine. Let's make some potions. Fortify intelligence. We want to be smart. So we're going to just make a bunch of potions and get smart making potions. However, this is the thing. You're confused. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Doesn't this have the unhinged eat the thing and find out what it does mechanic? Yeah, you can do that for the first thing. But I'm an alchemist, so I already know what the first thing is. So this would restore my health, for example. So I made some potions that will uh, increase my intelligence. Uh, in fact, actually, let me sell all the potions I don't want to you. Um, clear out my inventory a little bit. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, they're the ones I made. In fact, you know, I can sell some of these back to you so I can get my money back. Nice. You know, I put work in. I, be, I deserve to get a bit of money. Um, cool. Clean things up a bit. So I can now... Increase my intelligence, which is currently at 50, so I can grab one of my intelligence potions and boom, ah, 73. I'm now slightly smarter. Now, here's the th here's the fun thing. 
Intelligence is the thing that determines how good a potion is. And these stack. So if I just drink all of these. I think that was all my intelligence ones. I now have 326 intelligence. So if I make some more potions. I'm not only am I much better at making them. But they're now much better potion. Yes, yeah, so these, these now increase my intelligence by 35 points for a, a minute and a half. Which I can then use, obviously, to get myself up to 600 intelligence to make some more potions. Uh, which I can then use, it's 48 points for like three minutes to get myself up to 1,021 to make some more potions and get better at alchemy. I'm getting better at alchemy while I do this, so I'm uh, doing things for the Mages Guild. Uh, the better skills I have, the more they're going to look positively towards me. So this is now 60 points for about, uh, yeah, three and a half minutes. And we now have 1,700 intelligence. Just sort of keep doing this for a bit. Just staring at like, really? Are you doing this right now? <laughs> yeah, 94 points for like five minutes. Now at like two and a half thousand. Make some more potions. Alchemy's level 45 now. Uh, these now are 132 points for about uh, six or seven minutes. Now we have 4,000 intelligence. <laughs> Need more intelligence, that's the thing. So this is what I, this is the broken thing that I wanted to do to play the game and have fun. <laughs> this is how we're going to beat the game. But I don't want to do this too much right now. You say, I say as I have 5,000 intelligence. I do need to buy some more next leather though. So. Hey Chris, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Get some more of these. Um, 260 points for like 10 minutes. Cool, cool. We're at like 10,000 intelligence. Um... Little lean on the intelligence, yeah, exactly. That's, that's the thing. Um, so what I will do is I will make fifteen of those. Chug those real quick. These are what are these now? These are uh, four hundred points of intelligence for twenty minutes. Good, good. So we're now like sixteen, sixteen k intelligence. Is this how you honor <laughs> the sixth house and the tribe unmanned? Unmund. <laughs> yes, that is how I honor the sixth house. Um, cool. So what I will now do is I will now make my last batch of intelligence potions, at least for now, because now I have in my uh, possession something that can give me uh, 666. That's nice. 666 uh, intelligence um, for however many minutes that is. Um, like 30 minutes or something like that. Here's the thing. Here's the fun thing about this, right? Mourned. Mourned. Okay, so we can say mourned, but not unmourned. It's fine. It has an infinite intelligence glitch. Don't worry about it. Here's the thing, though. These things don't just do intelligence. This, for example, I'm better at alchemy now, so I can see three of these. This has fortify strength. So I can make a fortify strength potion that does the same thing. Or speed. Um, and, you know, speed could be one, could be fun. Uh, we won't do that, however. Um, we will do something else instead. We zoom in. We're gonna, we're gonna zoom, but we're gonna zoom in a slightly different way. Speed's fine. Speed's all right. But I can do something else.
while I'm here, just to have a little chat with Edwina Elbert, who has duties for me. They want a book called The Chronicles of Nukhulft. And I'm gonna get it. So what's this regarding? Cancels the Sonic soundtrack. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna go and say hello to a friend. We're in old run now, which is Can you ask your question quickly? stormy, apparently. Lots of sandstorms here. Also, they live in crabs. Todd is a trickster deity. <laughs> oh, walking against sandstorms is annoying. I, di I also didn't go and pick up uh, Mark or Recall, whichever one I don't have. A little over 33 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. But we can always go back and buy more, and as soon as we chug those intelligence potions, the new ones we make will be just as good. So that's the. Uh, as long as we've got some in our inventory, we're fine. Right, this is an alchemist over here. They are called Sien Sintiv. Never said these names out loud. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people come here because uh, they sell Telvani Bug Musk, <clears throat> which is really good for making people like you. I'm listening. You are listening. However, I'm here for something else. I would like some Coda Flowers and some Racer Plumes. Thank you. Uh, I don't think the glitch works on you, so I'm just gonna have to keep buying these. Fine, no worries. Uh, good flowers, face blooms. Try and get a roughly equal amount of each. One more batch, That'd be good. We got a lot of money. Don't worry about it. Also, also, I should point out that the potions we've been making uh, are worth two grand. So we can make money. That's not an issue. <laughs> anyway, let's make some more potions. Because I just picked up these um, Coda Flowers and these Racer Plumes. Where are they? Racer Plumes. There they are. Um, so let's make potions out of those. What, what's my intelligence right now? It's gone down a bit. It's only on 15k now. All right. Um, what do these make? These make a potion of Levitate. Isn't that fun? Let's make a bunch of those. Cool, cool, cool. Now, levitate, um, generally levitate's not great in this game. It, it allows you to levitate, but it's very slow. Um, however, we can make a levitate for like 200 points, which is pretty good. I'm just, just do one of those, it'll be fine. So now we're zooming and also flying. We're on no clip now, don't worry about it. <laughs> Quill wishes he could do this, exactly. Oh yeah, I was gonna get a book, wasn't I? Let's get a book! Um, I think one of these sells a book, right? Or a bookshop. Oh! I'm here for books! Do you have the Chronicles of the Hulf? Uh, I can't remember if you do, actually. I th No, I think you come here for a different book. There's one in Vivek, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to Vivek. Vivek's cool. I like Vivek. Um, do we have the Lusty Argonian Maid? Is that in this game or was that in? I think it might be in this game. Oh, I bet. I bet. Bloody. Um, what's his name? Um, the bloody Halalu guy. I bet he's got one. Anytime now. Anytime. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to steal another book. Hi, right, don't mind me. I'm not doing anything suspicious. Bye. Cool, right. Um, I got this as my sign. Bloop. Nice. Uh, the Chim Vivarivivivivivium. Cool, cheers. What Lovely. Assistance do you need? O already done, thank you. Actually, do you have spells? Mark. Is that the one I needed, or do I now have two marks? No, I have mark and recall. Fantastic. Whee! Oh, hang on. Actually, I should introduce you. This is the Archmage of the uh, Mages Guild. Ahead, He's an idiot. Uncle Crassius. That's the one. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Uncle Crassius is um, an interesting one. We won't meet him today. But... What was that? So this is the Archmage. Uh, he, he's, a f he's a fool. Um, if we ask him for duties, he says, yeah, uh, work out why the dwarves disappeared. Cheers, that'll do. 
Apparently, if you go around asking people, you'll find out that he's asked them to, like, dig a tunnel to the mainland, and, uh, it, he's just weird. <laughs> he doesn't actually know what he's doing. Um, books. Let's go to Vivek. Vivek looks neat. I like Vivek. Look at this place. It's real cool. And really much easier to navigate if you can levitate. <laughs> The Elder Scrolls logic of crouching down and closing the door before robbing people blind. Oh, yeah. Levitating Lizard Wizards, your favorite band. Yeah, yeah. They release an album every three months. Excuse me. Speak, traveler. Is this the place with the bookshop? It is! Jabashu's Rare Books. Not now, Outlander. Head on. Hello! Do you have a Chronicles of Mkhuf? Yes, you do. Marvelous. Good, I need that. Um, Chronicles of Mkhuf. Uh, money is no offer. Uh, no offer, no issue. No, it, money is... Money's fine. Right. Where am I? Up we go! <laughs> nope, not that way. Do 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 do. Back to Aldrin. We have the book. Also, levitating doesn't take fatigue, so that's kind of fun. Here's the Chronicle of Nuhuth. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, advancement. I'm a cr I'm Krimps the Apprentice. I'm Krimps the Journeyman. I'm in Krimps the Evoker. And I need to do more duties. You need to detect creatures potion from Skink and Trees Shade in Sedrith Moor. That is, this is literally a fetch quest. I just have to go somewhere, get the potion, and come back. <laughs> It might seem like what I'm doing is mostly fetch quests, but usually there's an element of, like, puzzling of, like, where do I get this thing? <laughs> I just happen to know. Um, detect creature's potion. Cheers. Uh, and back we go. <laughs> what may I do? Character stands whenever you open up the inventory. There they are. Uh, whoops. It's us. <laughs> we have sword. <laughs> and fancy robes, which we stole off a person who fell from the sky. Don't worry. Hello! I have your potion. There it is. What do you want me to do now? You want me to steal a copy of a, the Chum of a Viridian from somebody in Vivek? What? I've already done it. There you go. <laughs> what do you want now? There's a, a disturbance in Halin's hut in Margan. Cool. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we do? Uh, well, actually, one of them. Uh, I'm just saved because we haven't saved yet. Crimps. No, Crimps. Nice. The Shiv I don't know what it is. We can try and read it if we want. There we go. We have marked. We can now recall to get back here quickly. To Morgan! I must be going. Let's take the Silk Strider. Hello. Pat Pat. This is a Pokemon, yes. Okay, Helene's hut. There's been a disturbance there, and they haven't heard of, from Helene for a while. I wonder why. Scamp! Monsters! Horrible monsters! Camp's dead. Got a key. Hey, how you doing? You alright? Scamp's gone. It's all your fault. Wanted to be a real sorcerer, not just Helene's apprentice for the rest of our life. I wanted to prove I could summon a scamp. Then Helene would take me seriously. I'm glad it's all over now. Thanks for killing the scamp. He tried to summon a yeah, scamp, but couldn't control it. So he locked it. So the scamp stole his clothes and locked him in here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's an idiot. Um, this is uh, the ghost gate. So, okay, quick, quick backstory. This is a volcano. We're on a volcanic island. 
Um, and at the moment, horrible, horrible things are coming from the volcano, which are causing a horrible disease called the blight, um, ash blight. Um, and the, this this has been set up to make sure that not too many bad things happen. But as you can see, it's still still pretty bad right now. Um, we'll sort that out later. Don't worry. Hello. Back. Uh, well, actually, no. Hang on. I have a thing. Don't know. We make a special trip just for you. Hi, I'm back. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk? About? I went there. There was a scamp. What do you want me to do? You want me to put the book back? Okay, cool. I'll put the book back. Back in a sec. <clears throat> Apparently the book was really boring that I stole, so she wants me to put it back. How can I help you? Mages are not as in exciting as you'd think. <laughs> what exactly do you require of me? Nothing! <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, there's no rats in there. We're fine. Ah. Hi, I'm back. Oh, I should have I should have disappeared in her cupboard. That would have been great. Somebody walks into the cupboard and then they're just not there anymore. <laughs> I've returned the book. Cool. What do you want me to do now? Anything interesting? Uh, conjurer. I will pay the guild dues. Why not? I am now a conjurer. Oh, I don't meet the requirements to be a magician. Ooh. Uh, I need you need a Dweamer tube. I'll bring back a Dweamer tube. Where are they? Ald Velothi. Cool. Take the silk strider to Nissus and follow the roads north. Let's do some exploring and go to a Dweamer ruin. Ah, hello. <laughs> Dude, story stuff lives and takes back into your room and puts it back. I mean, I'd be fine with that. I'd just be confused, you know. <laughs> to Nissus. Is that thing gonna wear off yet? Why? Oh, it's worn off. Now we now we move at normal speed. Just kidding, I made like 20 of these. Um. Woo! <laughs> June's Danny, can't ask me how to find a Brody knob. What? <laughs> anyway, this is mostly what the landscape of uh, Morrowind is like. And lots of twisty rocks and trees and stuff. It's nice, I like it. That's a Kagooty. Your body moves when levitating is pretty crucial on what the vibe you're giving off. Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> we're, ju we're just jittering a bit. It's fine. <laughs> Hello, friends. I come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where am I going? I don't remember. Oh, I'm here, apparently. Not oh, there, is it? <laughs> Let me clear. We're fine, don't worry. We're, 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 we're in control of this. <laughs> A bit wet. May have gone the wrong way. It's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just take another levitate potion. Move twice as fast. There, there we are. Right now, the slight issue of moving twice as fast is I now have to do this indoors. <laughs> Vibrates towards you. It's fine. Right. Oh, also, this is a scrib. I haven't introduced you to scribs. They're cute. Pat pat. Anyway. Uh, this is the bit that Miss might not like because they're not spiders, but they're mechanical spiders, and they're not great. Um, also, I probably don't actually need to fight them. I can just fly past them, can't I? Let's go. Ignore you. Is there a tube around here somewhere? Tube! Lovely. 
Anyway, this is like Dweamer, Dweamer ruins. They're pretty neat. They're like lava things and machines. And... This is where the dwarves did things. Anyway, let's, let's, let's leave. Hi! Got your tube. There is a tube. Duties. I need to find- I need to check up on one of your colleagues in the Dwemer Ruin of Nkhulftirf. Nkhulftirf? Also didn't like Scrib or whatever his name is, that's fair. Uh, I can go around the mainlands near Saran, heading north to the Vern, or I can start in Molag Mar and head northwest towards Mount Kand, go north around Mount Kand, lands it's a excavation report. Okay. What? Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. That, that. Um, what do I need to be mage? Good mage. I've got enough intelligence and willpower. I need a skill at 50. So what you're saying is I need to make more potions. I'm not intelligent anymore, by the way. Um, I need to make more potions. Because currently my alchemy is... Uh, oh, it is at 50. And two at 15. Sure, I got two at 15, right? I got alter... What am I missing? What am I missing? Requirements. What? Oh, my willpower needs to be 31. Oh. Fine. Should have thought about that, really. Um, That's fine. We can level up stuff. What, what levels up willpower? Not alchemy. Alteration. What's cheap? What What's cheap and levels up? Uh, willpower. Restoration. Anyone here teach restoration? I'm listening. Are you? Good for you. Do you teach restoration? Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please. No. Wait. Restoration. Training. No. Boo. Well, what do you teach? Oh, all bloody intelligent stuff. Who? Boo, boo you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Make it quick. I'm outline. sniffing my ear. Hi. No. Let's hear it. No one teaches rest. I will listen out there. Boo. I have the money and everything. You. Do you? No, you have spells. I don't need spells. I have potions. Boo. Can you ask Where am I going? Again, Ashlan Walwal, Marine Hall, Nukuliftink. I mean, we could just fly there. <laughs> cool. Let's take a trip this way. Well, let's let's do it. I mean, I'm gonna have to wait. No, I can't rest because I'm flying. Um. Well, we'll have to just do it during during this horrible foggy night. <laughs> They'll speak after you're done talking to them. Okay, these are, um... Uh... Thingies. What are they called? Uh... Demons? What are they called? <laughs> Dremora kind of things? I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, they're the evil places. <laughs> You find shrines to like the horrible gods and stuff. I'm not I'm not too au fait with the lore, as you can probably tell. That's a cliff racer. There are seven billion of these in bloody Vardenfell. Um And they make lovely noises. The guy we met on the boat at the beginning, Jub, apparently completely eliminated all cliff racers from Morrowind. There's more of them. Uh, this is probably a burial site or something, probably, maybe. Oh, building navigation mesh. Uh, no. Thought there'd be a door there. Seems reasonable. <gasps> Netches! Here's Netches. Hi, Netch. How you doing? You alright? They're pretty big. Yeah, protect me from the cliff race. <laughs> a couple of Netch bouncers. Oh, no, running away. Netches, when I played this as a small child, Netches scared the life out of me. <laughs> they're, 
They were terrifying. <laughs> but they're friendly. If you don't hurt them, they're friendly. <laughs> volcanic vents. Again, this is a volcanic island, so there's a lot of this sort of thing going on. We're getting there. You can see why you keep calling those Valheim things that. Yeah, they're niches. Big floating blob things. This isn't a particularly nice area, is it? Where's this? Oh, this is another dwarven ruin. Called... Oh, oh, we're here. Now, how do we get in? Oh, there's a door there. Hi, what am I doing here? That's a bed. That's another bed. Hello? Was I meant to meet someone here? I was meant to meet someone here. Hello? Hi! How you doing? You alright? Uh, you don't have the next elevation room report. Why? Everything's fine, they just had a few setbacks. Our native guide, Anis Vendu, is missing! What? He was taking notes for the excavation report and must have taken it with him and he disappeared. Somehow he's gotten into the lower levels. Would I try and find him? Sure, I'll try and find him. Why not? <gasps> Hidden door! Found a colleague and now I've got to find another... I've got to find a colleague of a colleague? Um, are they in here somewhere? Ooh, the support. Is there a report? Also hanging gardens. Centurion, lovely. If you've seen these in Skyrim, they came from here. Is there a living one around here? Probably not. Be nice to show them off. I like their design. Well, that was fun. Yes, friend. Uh, I think there's something else here that's important. Is this? Pretty neat. <laughs> He's a little dead. Do you want something? I have a report. Yeah. Continue your work in the lower levels to honor your dead friend. Go ahead. <clears throat> Hang on, there's something else I think I need to get here. While I'm here, maybe, possibly, I don't know. While I zoom around like a god. I might be wrong, I might be remembering things badly, I haven't done this for a while. Oh, these are full of like, yeah, you can get like expensive alchemical ingredients in here. Some raw glass. Um, and if you think the phrase raw glass sounds weird, wait until you hear the words egg mine. Well, no, I imagine that. Cool, let's leave. Hi. There's an excavation report. Here it is. You're welcome. Do we have plans or blueprints? That's what I was trying to look for. <clears throat> um, oh, there are some in Mazuluft in Dagenfell, above the Sea of Ghosts. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Actually, let's find somebody who deals with restoration, and then I can level up. Who would who would be good at restoration? I don't know. I suppose I have. Hello, are you good at restoration, or just anything involving wisdom? No. I mean willpower. Warmly greeted, friend. Welcome. Welcome. Training. Willpower. Destruction. Okay, train me in destruction. That, where have you gone? I destroyed her. There we go. I see you. Hello. Hello. You sound like um. Character from Dinner Ladies. I should rest and think about what I've done. Where are you? There's a reason I'm doing this. Apart from just to become real, real good at my job. Because when you level up, you get certain points in certain things, as you can see here. I'm going to get five points in intelligence, three in willpower, and two in speed. Well, I, I could get those. Um, but the number of points 
Um, the number of points that you can get out of a level up depends on how many things you have leveled up before you level up. <laughs> how many individual skills you have increased before you do your full level up. So I'm just doing more of those and then getting more points. Uh, cannot skill a tra trainer skill above its governing attribute. That's fair, that's reasonable. Um, cool, 5-5. Five, five. So now I should be able to do this just in case. Rest until healed. And get 5 intelligence, 5 willpower, and a bit of speed. Why not? Cool. Did anyone here do restoration? <laughs> it's fine, I'm going to travel now to... Where did I need to go? I needed to go north. Well, let's do Aldrin. Come back here and levitate a bit more. Whee! Hi! Um, advancement. I'm a magician now! But I don't read the requirements for a warlock. Which are? 32 willpower, we've got that. But I need a skill at 60, so I need more alchemy. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. That means more potions, everyone. We'll get that, don't worry. Um Can you ask your question quickly? How far north are we? Yeah, we need to get up there. Uh so Margan is probably a good bet. Good bet. We could also go see Solstein. Land of the Nords. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Same low price. Yeah, that's fine. I can't remember the locations in this world. We're just gonna do a bit of a fly. Uh, it's at this point I might as well explain like the main plot of this game, kind of. Um, so as is uh, tradition in Elder Scrolls, um, you are the prophesized one who is also a prisoner and building a navigation mesh. Um, yeah, you're the prophesied one, and you are here to do something. Be dragonborn, save the Cyrodiil, whatever. Um, in this particular case, you are... Uh, spoilers, if you want to play this game yourself. Um, you are the Nereverin, who is a reincarnation of uh, an old hero. And you are here to defeat the thing in the volcano. However, in order to defeat the vol... In, in order to convince people that you actually are this thing you have to do a bunch of stuff for a bunch of people loads and loads of stuff many hours of back and forth and doing stuff and working out what they want and working out how to do it and going places and defeating dungeons and all that sort of stuff classic rpg fair um and in the end they they all agree okay fine um we don't actually believe in this but there's you've you've done nice things for me why not um it's just a prophecy no one believes in it it's fine uh but once they've done that, you finally get access to chat. Have a little chat with a god. Um, he's he's in a he's in Vivek. He's called Vivek. The place was named after him, and he gives you some gloves. And those gloves are real cool because they allow you to wield fantastic weapons, which you can use to defeat. They're the only things that can defeat the big old monster in the volcano. Um, boom! Found them. Hi. Is that what you wanted? Plans, yes? Do we mascara? Yeah, cool, nice. <clears throat> Welcome, friend. The day is yours. Here you go. What shall we talk about? Blood Prince. Uh, duties. Bethlehem's. Uh, let's do some more potion stuff so that we can get a few levels. Um. So, what do we want to do? Uh, do we still have... We still have a decent number of intelligence things, so let's go and do something else. Let's do... Cog's turn in the head. Cog's turn in the head. What can I do for you? Zoom! You can get out of my way as I zoom! Anyway, this is how uh, Morrowind is supposed to be played. Don't worry about it. To the temple. 
There's also a bunch of temple shenanigans. Anyway, point what I was saying was, um, now one of you sells something good and I can't remember what it is and who you are. Um, why don't you like to deal with me? Because I'm a foreigner? Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, because I'm with the Mages Guild and the Mages don't like, the temple people don't like Mages. That's fine. Um, I have a lot of gold. You like me now? Good. Um... <laughs> Chalk resin, that's what I want. How much have I got? 40? Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. Goodbye! We're gonna go and buy a bunch of stuff now. And then make loads of potions. Uh, actually, I mentioned an egg mine. Let's go to an egg mine. You wanna go to an egg mine? She keeps teleporting around while she teaches us. Yeah, it's the game. Let's go to an egg mine. Well, there's Heather here. Forgot about that. This is an egg mine. It's the Shulk egg mine. These guys work here. Don't worry about it. Um. And the egg mine has eggs in it. And these guys, the Kwamas, they lay the eggs. Well, these are the workers, they don't lay the eggs, but um, they're all right. Gonna need a few of those eggs, don't mind me. There's some scribs here as well. But yeah, there's like a, there's like a big old Kwama queen in here. They lay a lot of eggs. Uh, and, oh, the little ones, they don't like me. I need a better sword. I keep hearing egg mime. <laughs> it's got a painted shell. I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. Um, more eggs, please. How many eggs can I carry? I don't know. I'm trying to think where to go next. Oh, we're near Moonmouth. We could, we could, we could go there. Get a bunch of things for potions. I said we'd go back there. How many eggs have we got? They're small ones. I don't want small ones. 24. Decent amount, probably. Cool, let's leave. There's a quest you can do here for the Fighters Guild. Because people are poaching the eggs. Haha! <laughs> um, but we don't have to do that. To Moonmouth, which is just a fort. Like I said, if, if people are interested in me actually playing this properly... Thank you, thank you. I did not make that joke. The game did. Um, yeah, if people are interested in me playing this without breaking it, you're more than welcome to ask. But <laughs> at the same time, after this, this is going to feel a very slow game. In we go. Good defences, guys. Um, we said this guy would be important, and he is. Because he sells some stuff that will be nice for us. Um, and I can't remember what it is. Drew wax, I think. Brew brush. I think that's what it is. Yes, we'll go with that. Sure. The strength. Yeah, because we want. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Why not? Uh, do you have the thing where I can sell things back to you and everything's grand? Let's find out. Eleven and ten. Yes, you do. Fantastic. Saves me a bit of time. Marvelous. Uh, we're running in the slightly lower on... Um, oh, we have an amulet of Alm intervention. I don't know when I got that. <laughs> Get rid of that. It's clogging up my inventory. My 45 Ashiams are not going to clog up my inventory, but that is. <laughs> Isn't this how the game's played properly? Apparently not. <clears throat> not usually. Um, Book of the Daedra, don't know why I got that. Origin of the Magus Guild. 
bunch of soul gems for some reason. Yeah, you don't want them. Never mind. Cool. Yeah. Um, so that's that's good. What do we want now? Um, because we have. We don't have levitate stuff, got plenty of those. Um, we've got that and that for health. So we can get a lot of health. We can do this and something else. Not not sure we have what we need for that. This one does strength. Yeah, so we've got that. And that for strength. So I guess I just need soap. I need soap. <clears throat> And where do you buy soap? That's right, the Fine Alchemists. It was right next to the temple, I should have done this earlier. Battle music was playing. Um. What? So what do you want? Is that your reaction? Hi, I need soap. You have soap? You have soap. Great, fantastic. <clears throat> oh, I'm too heavy. Let's do alchemy here. <clears throat> right, so, first things first. Chug the intelligence. Uh, 10,000 should be fine. Should be alright. Right. Now we want to make... Uh, that and that. For agility. Agility allows us to not get hit. Every time you hear R, I'm leveling up my alchemy. That's good. Um, this and this to level up strength so that I can hit things real hard. Uh, and the eggs that we got, and this shulk resin to uh, fortify my health. To get lots and lots of health, because at the moment I have like 35 max health. Um, and these potions will give me... Um, uh, 429 extra health each for uh, 20 minutes. So, should be good, I think. How's our alchemy doing? 57? Did we need a, was it 60 or something? I need something at 60. But we need more um, intelligence potions. We ran out of those. So get some more as we zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. I said I wouldn't break this too much at the beginning, but here we are. Um, let's travel to Sadrithmora. We're honestly not far away from beating the game now. Because, oh, sorry, I'd never actually men mentioned why this helps um you can probably tell why it helps but you know what i mean just make a load of these and then sell a bunch of them um alchemy time um <clears throat> yes so you meet a god after making everyone happy, and they give you the special gloves of gloveness. And they allow you to wield the weapons of MacGuffin, which you can use to beat the final boss. If you try to use the weapons without the gloves of gloveness, um, they, they kill you. They kill you, but they just like rapidly drain your health, right? Um, luckily for us, uh, we have like... Twenty-five-ish potions of fortify health, each of which give us four hundred points. So we don't need those gloves. Um, we can just chug those, and we'll be fine. Um, so that's the that's the goal. Um, you don't have a lot of uh, thing, but that's fine because I don't really need gold. That's four hundred points each. Fine. Get a bunch of those. Just sell them all back. I think. I've got quite a lot of things on me at the moment, and I'm quite over-encumbered. 
but I need more alchemy. Go ahead. More intelligence. More leveling. Oh, that was in tune. So what's everybody doing this week? Anything fun? <laughs> My alchemy is now at 67. That's good. Uh, well, maybe we get it to 70. We might have to do that at some point. Um... So yeah, if we could if we could find people to sell this to and run around the world and try and make money, we could we could make like sixty two grand off of what I just done. Um, again, it's not difficult to make money in Morrowind. I'm gonna finally try and beat the Bloodstar Beast! Ooh, exciting. You can do it, I believe in you. Read more Reaper's Gale, nice. 71, good, that sounds good. Um, what are those, a bunch of those potions I just made? Not all of them, I'll keep a couple. 20 of them. Uh, cool. Does anyone train restoration? <laughs> Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. Train, train me. Alteration, illusion. Illusion's what based on personality. How strange. Speechcraft. What? <laughs> That's not a magic thing. What are you, what are you talking about, you what strange man? To you, how does the day greet you, friend? Um, what are we doing? Excellent question. Does anyone here teach Stay restoration? Out of trouble and you'll have none from me. Someone better bloody teach restoration. <laughs> Training. No! Do you have something to say? Ah, welcome. Finding someone who can train me? You! You know, you just travel. Vivek? Well met. What is it? You! No. The woman I stole the book from? I mean, I didn't steal your book, it's right there. Oh, one of my... one of my levitates wore off, the other one's gonna wear off soon, presumably. You. I mean, you're an imposter anyway, so I don't trust you. Um, spoilers. spells. Does no one in the Mages Guild train bloody restoration? No one over here, is there? No. I think I checked all of Aldrin, didn't I? I'm, I'm looking this up. <laughs> Surely there's got to be someone, right? <laughs> oh, the one person I didn't talk to. Have you any news? There's twelve, yes, and this is one of them. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? My you're attention right? is yours. Thank you. There we go. Cheap restoration. Now I know, I've learned something. Still, only 12 people who can teach restoration. That's, you, you'd think that would be a really important, like, type of magic, right? <laughs> the ability to heal wounds. You know, that'd be like, you know, teaching first aid in school. It'd be like a <laughs> kind of no-brainer, right? Cool, good enough. Oh, it's slow again. 
Back to the back to walking speed, everyone. <laughs> Where the 16 destruction trainers. Morrowind wants to destroy more than survive. Uh, right, can we can we level up now? Blood, 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 yes. blood, blood. Y yes, I can. Thank you. Marvellous. That's all I wanted to know. Advancement. I'm a warlock. Oh, I need to do more duties, though. <laughs> um, well, then, let's go back to what's her face. Hi. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Oh yeah, the miners in Nissus egg mine broke into the ruins of Bethamez. So we're gonna go into an egg mine that have found a dwarven ruin. Uh, and see if I can find any blueprints in Bethamez. Uh, no, I haven't done it yet. I haven't gone there yet. Honest. Anyway. Time to zip. We can you ask your questions? No! Hi. Can we go to Gnus? Why walk when you can run? Why walk when you can run? Egg mine! No, 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 no. What do I get in there? Is that there? No. Yeah? No, they're, they're houses. The mine up here somewhere? Up here. Why ride when you can fly? <laughs> it's locked. Beyond measure out that can I go in, please? Can I? Can I go in? And this is egg mine. It's locked. You have the key if you like me more. Uh, we'll have a lot of money. No money? Thanks. <laughs> bribery. Good old fashioned bribery. Nice. Right, we're looking for blueprints. Hey, Dan, you're right. Nice egg. Water. Excuse me. Waste your time. Go away. <laughs> uh, this way? To the lower egg mine. That sounds about right. Well, I'm not supposed to be here. Gonna count to ten. Okay, bye. I'll go there then. Um... Hmm. Maybe I am supposed to be there, and they're just lying to me. Safe. I'm supposed to be here. Count to ten, quickly. Oh god, they're attacking me. That's the queen, don't mind me. Uh, I'm not here for your queen, I'm just here to find ruins. Oh, it's a dungeon. I don't know where anything is. Excuse me. Excuse me. I haven't done this quest for a very long time, so... Do I have to swim? I'm not good at swimming. Oh, someone's dead. Oh, I can levitate through water, apparently. That's new. <laughs> I did not know this. <laughs> I can't breathe in it, but I can levitate through it. Oh, ghost. Called... Mansilamat Vabdas. Nice to meet you, Mansilamat Vabdas. I'm gonna get through here, thank you. Oh, no, you're here now. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, was it in the water pool over here? Maybe? Sploomsh. Doesn't seem it, does it? Okay, well. Time to annoy that orc again. Yep, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Do I have to talk to you? Mansilla Matt Vabdas? No? Okay, cool. Is this your body? It is. Okay. Uh, oh, my thing just wore. Sure is a name and you'll love it. Oh, we know where there's a ghost there now, I guess. Uh. Okay, we didn't go that way, apparently. 
Well, let's do that. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're nice. They're fine. As long as you're not near the queen, they're grand. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're quite slow is the issue. Um, thank you. This way. Fish. Run. Oh. The ransom of Zarek. I learned about athletics. Nice. Anyway. Oh, this goes to Gnesis. So this was just a secret way in. Okay. Well. I don't want a secret way in. I want to find where this thing is. Where are the ruins? Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Bethemis is apparently right in front of me. It's there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, I know. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get through. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get through. I'm. Fine. I'll go round. I did go to the right minor, I'm just very unobservant. And I don't check the map up when I should. Hey friend, your body's down there. Right. Yep, yep. Oh, this is not going excellently. Um... Let me grab one of those fortify health potions. Cool, I have 400 health now. Can I? There we go. Yay, new place. Let's go. Mines. Airship plans. Grand. Let's explore some more. Why not? You alive? No, you're dead. You alive? Oh, why are they all dead? Show me some cool things, game. Oh. Well, anyway, did you ever find Mark? Yes, Mark got us here. Blueprints from Bethlehem's. There you go. Truly remarkable. It's a shame Archmage Trebonius doesn't share my dedication to scholarship. I know, I'm real good, aren't I? I'm a wizard, but I need a wizard stuff. Sure, I'll buy a wizard stuff. Got a lot of money. Cool. I'm a wizard. I'm Crimps for the wizard. Duties. Uh. Trebonius. Powerful battle mage. Wish the guild were led by somebody who showed more respect for scholarship. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Pat Pat. Cool. I don't know your stuff. Now you might be thinking I'm cutting it close to have not yet become Archmage and I said I'll be do that and beat the game. Are you alright? I cannot complain about people levitating, frankly. Um, do you have any more duties for me? Secret, you know about the Staff of Magnus. Staff of Magnus is in Asu. Slopes of Mount Gand and Molagmar. Northwest of Molagmar. Where's Molagmar? <laughs> and how do I get to it? Again, it's been a while. Why walk when you can ride? I say Magnus is a trigger word. <laughs> Where's Moelagmar? Just give me a map. Um, Arrow oh, end map. This isn't breaking immersion. I could see one of these presumably on the wall somewhere. That'd make you listen to it again. I won't make you listen to it again.
Oh, it's in the south. Oh. Let's go back to Aldrin then. Maybe you're kidding, you'll have to listen to it again. Hi. You have very beautiful eyes. Where would you like to go? Everywhere. Vivek, mainly. Why walk when you can ride? Do they have a silk striders to my leg? Well, they do, marvellous. Just hopping round on. Where would you like to go? Oh, that's windy. Uh, where are we going? Northwest of Molagmar, in a sorcerer's cave on the slopes of Mount Cairn. Okay. Northwest this way. You need to start listening to that? It's on your expanding list of podcasts. So many podcasts. All the podcasts. Up here, this feels slopey. to get that map out again <laughs> again this is what a lot of quests are in this game it's like hey go here where's here i don't know find it explore walk around look for things oh there's a dead silt strider no oh. pretty far northwest of nolagmar at this point Did finish the RE Dracula podcast, it's good, can recommend. Nice. This is an horrible place. I don't like it here. Looks like I went past it. Oh, I went up the wrong path. I went up this path and I should have gone up this path. Boo! Boo me! You return, hello. We're in a horrible sandstormy place. Because it's Morrowind and most places are horrible sandstormy places. <laughs> how you doing? How was that BGs? Was they goods? This looks like it. Cool. Give this a save. Good news, everyone. Fanada's become a Disney princess. Marvellous. Fanavellous. Yeah, there's a frost natural neck. 
Excuse me. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a frost. Sorry, fire antronek. That's a frost antronek. And why I said frost? There's a storm one as well. Nice. Uh, I don't know why they're not attacking me, but not complaining. There we go. You can befriend animals, so he befriended the giant invisible death lizard. Lovely. What's this? Mount Can Shrine. This is not the right place. <laughs> it's just up the road from me. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so many caves in this game. So lots of dungeons and caves and all these sorts of things. Um, and then an entire forest. Also, they talk. Nice. Sounds like Fanon's having a wonderful time. I can't wait to hear the. I can't wait to see the the animated musical. Simply called Fanard. I think it's here. It's here. This is where I want it to be. Asu, there we go. Read the door next time. Hi. Uh, we should probably get some of these potions, shouldn't we? Let's fortify my health. Let's uh, fortify my agility. What if I, I should have got a good weapon, maybe. What am I in my strength? I'll do. That's a Daedroth. They're crocodile friends. But that one was grumpy for some reason. Excuse me, have you got a stick? I need a stick. Poor Daedra. This is why I should have got a better weapon, you know. They can't really hit me, and if they do, they won't do much damage, so... It's just a matter of attrition. It was not what you planned on taking Fanad, but making him more insufferable is the goal. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you have a better weapon? Anyone here got a better weapon than what I've got? Not looking like it, is it? Oh well. Onwards we forge. No! Frosty. Bone walkers, they're dangerous. That's the staff. Can I have it, please? The Staff of Magnus! Nice. Hi. I have the Staff of Magnus, are you impressed? In pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Yeah, you're not impressed, are you? Pretty sure that was just a guy with a crocodile. <laughs> Good work. Could be. Um, I've, I've not been exploiting anything, don't worry about it. Hey, I found the Staff of Magnus. Yeah, tell me other secrets. Warlock's Ring. Uh, do, I need, do I need anything to level up here? One skill at 80 and two at 30 to become Master Wizard. Well, you know what that means, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, Magnus. Yeah. Tips for Dora. Oh, hang on. 
I do not have the intelligence to make these intelligence potions. Let's sort that out. Cool, 12,000 intelligence. That should do. <clears throat> Fanat was also drinking while wearing a fedora with the forest friends. Yeah. Muckiness. How quickly can I click that? Final Fantasy VIII boost practice. 79! Oh, you absolute Please, nonsense. by all means. I'm listening. There you go. There's 145,000 gold's worth of stuff for 500. Because um, <laughs> I'm nice like that. not exploiting the game, this is perfectly reasonable. These are intended mechanics. Now what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't need all of this. More importantly, though, we now have level 82 alchemy. What else do we need to be master magician? Uh, two at 30, I'm pretty sure we got those. Yep. Um, 34. Okay, we should be able to do that. Yes. Give this a little save. Oof. What can I help you with? Nothing. I'm all yours. Please go ahead. I didn't want to come here. Swoosh. Advancement. Duties. I need more duties. Oh, I forgot to. <laughs> I thought it'd be faster than this. Let's go. Only glad I got the speed thing now. Um, or the levitate. Right. You see. You said a, a, a warlock's ring. Where is it? You told me all I know. What? Um, Vendemel does add Ashir Badon, which is past the ruins of Balfell. Where's Balfell? West of Vivek. You could have just said that. Actually, you could have said East of Vivek, because that's what it actually is. Um, Dolly Parton shorter in the rain? We'll never know. Wrong way. Ah, <laughs> uh, now just a peaceful little fly. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to fortify my health again, because I have just remembered if I don't do that fairly regularly, bad things are going to happen. These are the female niches. We met the male ones, these are female ones. They're much more manageable. That's the male one over there. So I can just fly? This uh, I can make potions. Why wouldn't I be able to? This is Balfell, I assume. 
Oh yeah, this is our levitation technique. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're doing grand. Smooth as a cucumber. Yeah, is this where we want to be? Ashir Badun, that sounds about right. Another one of those save things. Hey. Okay. Yep. These guys, what are these called? Cool. Dramora, yes. They have a staff? Ancient chest with an old key. Bunch of skulls. How strange. A worn cavern door. There you go. Excuse me, have you got a ring? I need a ring. I came here under the understanding there'd be a ring. Warlock's ring. I must say, I find you most interesting. I don't care. <laughs> Should you need something, I will be happy to... The design's not changed nearly enough? Well, what looks right? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Done with the secrets. Is that enough? Is that enough? Can I be head honcho now? No, you screws. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Come on. Share your thoughts. I bet those didn't even count as duties, they were just bonuses. Fine, I'll do the mafia stuff. Hi, what did you want? Duties. Convince an Extel Jani to join us and do guild dues. Bunabi and Sulipund. Uh along the Sulipund uh, from Molagamur. North. Past the Doom River, following the Wilding Trail east till you reach a lake. Miranda's to your south. Or mark the stronghold on the map. Good, that's all I need. Because I can fly! <laughs> Miranda's. Potions of infinite fly. Not infinite, just pretty fast and pretty long. Clear Fraser. So you meant to go in here for the like, first quest in the game? It's a nice looking place. Faster! Hope the first one wore off. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to do this in two hours. Looks like I could beat the game in about half an hour. But... Mirandus. This is Mirandus, I assume. Okay, cool. Where did we need to go from here? Ah, uh, the, the Mirandus. Uh, just south of the lake, Punabi is on the trail that leads northeast from the lake. Okay. Do you see why they took flight out of oblivion? <laughs> you just need to make it not stack, right? <laughs> this feels more north than northeast. Now I'm going south. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just head northeast and see what it's like. Hmm. 
Okay, this feels north. But more, more east now. That doesn't feel right. So let's go the other way. Stuff stacks in oblivion and you just can't fly, you can run fast enough to take full damage from small inclines. question. Ow. That's not the door I wanted then. Um. <laughs> ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Excuse me, you don't want to talk to people you don't like. Join us. Bribe. Bribe. Join us. Bribe. Join us. Yay, there we go. Three blessed. We are running a little low on money, but we can always get more. Potions are lucrative. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, skip, 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 thank you. <laughs> right. Know someone else further up, right? Yes, hello. Guild Jews. Guild Jews. Yes. What Good. To leave. Swoosh. Travel Balmore. Welcome. Please don't be shy. Watched Menton play recently and speed buff on his horse, which was pretty insta killed because it what turned into a rocket. You, uh yep, join us, Guild Jews. There you go. Cool. Advancement. More duties, for God's sake. Unsanctioned trading and restoration. I wish I'd known this before. South Wall Corner Club, got it. There are an Argonian here somewhere. Hello! Uh, unsanctioned training. If you were to return and tell her that you agreed to stop training, and if you did that, you decided to offer training? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> I don't think she'll check. It's right. Oh, this is the Thieves I Guild as well, by the way. Church! <laughs> Trying to advertise for you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, you. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor. I've taken care of the Argonian. Advancement. I'm the Master Wizard! Is there more? Archmage. I've got to do more. I've got to need a skill at 90. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> and I've got to do more duties. Right, more duties. Okay, scholar interested in some of notes. Okay, I need to go and kill somebody in Pelagiad. Got it. Master Wizard Lizard. lizard. I'm the Master Wizard Lizard. Let's go. Pelagiad's around here somewhere, right? Let's go to the land of mushrooms. Big old mushrooms. Parody. Uh, this way. Pelagiad. Plan to finish this today? I just wanted to become Archmage and then finish the game. Beating the games takes no time at all now. I could just go do that immediately, but... Um... I thought, I, for some reason, I wanted to also become Archmage, so we're doing that. Do you? No. Who am I here for? I'm here for someone, right? It, it to Morel. It, 
to m this up, will you? To m uh, does, some, uh, does someone call it to Morel? Rordus. Go ahead. Where is it to Morel? At least they're they outside. Staying with the eight plates. Pelagiad. Oh, this is the halfway tavern, this is the eight plate. Uh, come on then. Say something or move on. The eight plates is in Balmora. They want to go to Pelagia. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. Bloody fool! Which one's the eight plates? This one. We're hit. They're here. <laughs> they're right here. <laughs> Hello, Ita Morel. Let's travel together. Share your thoughts. Follow me. How fast can you move? Not as fast as me, but pretty fast. Hey, wait for me. No! <laughs> now here's the thing about escort quests. Even the game doesn't like them. Need it? All right, let's go. He's trying his, he was trying his best, but then I got told to do mafia work. So here we are. More duties. Somebody's been practicing necromancy in Margan. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Nearly? Nearly's not good enough. Tell you what, we'll make up for this, we'll kill two gods, how about that? <laughs> that's easy, that's not a problem. Um, I'll get Now, who am I looking for? Tashpi Ashibail. Tashpi Ashibail, Tashpi Ashibail. Tashpi Ashibail. Hi, you're apparently practicing necromancy, you're not actually. Um, tell me more, I'll let you go. They're going to go back home. They actually came here as a healer, but the person who's, uh, I'm doing stuff for is running a racket, so. We make a special trip just for you. Same low. Same low. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I'm glad people convinced me to do my fast stuff early. <laughs> Didn't think this would take quite as long. Yes, I lied. I mean, yes. There's a Telvani spy? Oh no! I'm gonna find the spy. Fun fact, they are the advisor of... Oh, why did I do that? It's Vivek, not Eldrin. Um, they are the advisor of the Archmage, because the Archmage is an idiot. And can't read. How fairly, friend. Oh, I went the wrong one. Um... You, you're an idiot. Telvani spy. There are no Telvani spies here. After all, my advisor keeps track of all that sort of stuff. He has the highest credentials. I read the credentials. It misspells the name of the Imperial Battle Mage. This, this is all nonsense. It's terrible. I'm all yours. Should you need something, I will be 
again, that's actually an interesting quest where you have to go around and just talk to people and be like, oh, what do, you, what do you know? What do you know? There you go. It's exactly the kind of proof, because he's an idiot. Uh, more duties, really? Bloody hell. Right. To Sedrith Mora to make more potions and do more duties. <laughs> Speak freely, friend. I could have sworn you didn't have to do this much, but here we are. Um, more poison! Poison being gameplay. I'm starting to run a little low on money. That's fine, we can get more. Clicking time. Hang on, do I actually still have... I still have the intelligence. Good, good, good. It lasts for half an hour or so, so we're all good. But with potions! More potion! Yeah, boost that GF. Quote! <laughs> Stopped at exactly the right time. Look at that. Eighty-nine. For I God's sake. I stand in good company. <laughs> what can I do for you? Pickle. <laughs> Caps lock was still. <laughs> no quote. <laughs> Right. Barter. Have most of these, please. Sorry, you can't afford 260,000 gold, can you? Right. More duties. Let's try and get this done. We're doing this. We're doing this. You, duties, what have you got? Escort someone from the corner club. Got it. Welcome. Please. Speed things up. Talk at your leisure. Yes. Other yes. Right, we have marked our position there now. Change it to recall before I do something stupid. Speak. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Corner club. Here we are. Travel together. Follow me. You're literally just walking through town. There is nothing dangerous, I assure you. You can run pretty fast. No. Where did you want to go? To the docks, yeah. Hey, Demand a hey. quote! Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Very kind. Bye. I'm all Done. <laughs> Go ahead. Please speak. Duties. Vampires of Ardenfell. Should have guessed we're going back to that bookshop. I'm all yours. Please go ahead. Oh, it's right down. Uh. Book time. Excuse me, do you have a copy of Vampires of Ardenfell Volume 2? Thank you. Volume 2. Yes. Offer. 
Fantastic. Bye. Hey, I got your book. As long as he holds the title Archmage Travonius and Vivek can grant you the title of Archmage. That's different. <laughs> can we do that? Please say we can do that. Hey, Trebonius, can I be Archmage? I've seen how you lust after the power and prestige that only I have as the Guildmaster here in Vardenfell. If you truly think that is what the, the, that you can take my place, meet me in the arena for a duel to the death. Sure, let's do that. Almost there, everyone. Almost there. <laughs> We're gonna kill the Archmage, don't worry about it. I forget which one of these is the arena. Um, this is Redoran, apparently. I Vivek is great. I love Vivek. Real weird. Arena, here we are. Okay, he's already quite grumpy. Uh, we're fine though. I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. Look at the lump compounds! Look at them! He thought they were jewels, but they're not. They're lump compounds. Cool. My lump compounds now. Also, I'll take your stuff, because I don't have a reason not to. Uh, Constant effect. Resist normal weapons, 25%. Fortify intelligence, 25 points. Restore health, 1 point. Spell absorption, 25 points. That's pretty good. Um, look at that, wow. It's increased my intelligence by 25. Previously I had 12,219, but now it's 12,244. Ho ho! My word, what a reward. I will back in. I am the Archmage. I am the Archmage of the Guild. We did it! <laughs> we did it, everyone. Now let's go kill God. Welcome. Care to talk? Uh, Aldrin. Best amulet in the game. E. Yeah. Not because I am slightly. All right. Uh, out of need for it, but uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's get a good weapon. This is going to take ages, otherwise. I'm the ultimate lizard wizard. Hurrah! We did the thing, everyone. I don't know why I'm doing this by Soul Strike. Oh, oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> well, we did it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I forgot about the health thing. Um, pretend I didn't just die and load an old save. It's fine. The end buff is the least important part of it, to be honest. Well, yeah. Um... So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fortify my health. I'm going to go to Saran. And we're going to say hello to a chap who's a bit depressed. I am over encumbered. That makes sense. I'm no longer over encumbered. Let's go. I'm no longer flying either. Uh, Also would like agility. Cool. We're gonna go over these mountains. Because there's a friend who's not having a great time. Permanent healing every second, resistance to every monster, absorb a quarter of spells completely. It's good. Hello, you your name is Umbra. Yes. How are you doing? Not you. Thank you. If you come looking for me, seeking me, my name is unimportant, my accomplishments are few. What is the use of knowing my name? It will make you more comfortable. You may call me Umbra, it's the name of my blade, though it might as well be mine. What are any of my accomplishments in the whole world? I've travelled from one end of the, of the land to the other. I've killed creatures that can stop a man's heart with but a look. I have the blood of a man and myrrh uncountable on my hands. I've seen the atrocities of war and the hideous excess of peace. There is nothing left for me in the world. No, nothing more to do in this life than die like a warrior. I'll give you the death you deserve, by which I mean I want your sword, please. Because my sword does this damage, <laughs> and I want something faster, please. Or never changes. <laughs> I 
This is still the first sword I picked up in the game, so this is obviously not a great one. But... That's why I came to this guy, because his sword's got a name. I want it. Sounds cool. Pink wizard gameplay. I'm a wizard. Umbra sword. Nice. Umbra sword. Hey. Boom. We're here. Right, Aldrin. Okay, so we have what we need. I.e. unnecessarily high uh, skills. <laughs> But just for the sake of it, let's produce a bit more. Nothing too much. I believe you can actually go too strong in this. Because you can end up sort of destroying things before scripts can happen properly. So we won't go too high on that. Um... So let's save this as... Let's kill a god. How could you kill a god? So we're going to go over this thing and go into the volcano. To this triumphant music. And there we will find two special weapons. These stats get so high they wrap around to zero. And, uh, maybe if you try hard enough. I haven't, I haven't gotten to that point. <laughs> okay, want to go in here? Got our, got our lovely sword. That was fun. Door. Oh. I always get lost in it. You! Thank you. Dagoth Odros, I want your key, please. Thank you. I can open this door, go up this ladder, and get Keening! This is a pretty good sword, but it does hurt you if you try and use it. Which is why we need lots of health. That's the first part of the system. Now for the second, which is a hammer. Or I guess technically that's the second part of the system, but it's whatever. It's the first one I got. We need to go there. Be the game. Um, however, the thing we need is over here somewhere. Very red. Red volcano times. It's called Red Mountain. So, you know, can't complain. Uh -huh. Obviously, this is slightly more treacherous if you can't fly, but so. I can, so. This is the place, right? Somewhere? Up here? Is there a door? Where is it down here? Hang on. There it is. Yeah. I'm a fool. I'm a blind fool. Maybe it's not here. Maybe that's just a random thing. There is a door. I am blind. It is there. <laughs> nope. No. No, Cthulhu, not today. I'm going to go this way. Oh, this feels more important, right? Hi. Sunder. Boom. I have Sunder and Keening, the two things I need to destroy whatever the name of the boss is, because the game hasn't actually told us yet because we're skipping 90% of the quest. Boom! And now back to where we were. Almost done, everyone. Almost done. There we go. Yep.
Here we are now, a fiendish trap that we need to be able to get past in order to get into this place. For you see, the door is closed by orb. However, there's a handle, which opens the orb. Amazing defenses. Only a god could think of something like that. Excuse me. Excuse me, Cthulhu. Thank you. Pretty sure you can get stats so hard it goes into the negative and just breaks. Lovely. I expect no less. Excuse me, Cthulhu. So many Cthulhus. You can just walk past the bone walker. Hi! Right, let's save it here. Just in case. Just in case. Dagoth Ur, facility cavern. Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. Hi. But to this my name's place Kuz where destiny is made, why have you come unprepared? Unprepared? Have you seen me? This is the place of destiny, and destiny may only be shaped by the holder of the Kanaz's tools. I don't know what you think to accomplish, but to raise your hand against me, I shall destroy you. You do that. However, that was only the corporeal body. We must now defeat the big old I'm god a construct god. thing. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? Pretty there cool. is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. There it is. Anyway, there's a heart here. Um, I am going to get a bunch of health so I don't get killed by holding the stuff. Like 7,000 should be good. Then equip the hammer, bonk it. Uh, and then equip... Keening. Step, step. This is the end. <laughs> and then take that sword off, because it's killing me. Sound design and VA work here is something. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, do quite a bit. Fiendish puzzle. Hello. Hug. Time for hug. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. What prophecy? You have achieved your destiny. You are free. What did I do? The doom dreamer's folly. Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart freed, the prophecy fulfilled. I don't know any of this. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost, but let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Saviour, Hortator, and Nerevarine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten <laughs> the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you, a and blessing, our gift and token given. None of this Come, makes sense. Take this thing from the hand of God. No. Is that meant to be one of the tribunal? Nah, we can go. We can kill one of the tribunal if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Hi, I killed a god. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go kill another one now. Back in a sec. Rip god. If I can be <laughs> anyway, what's up for some McDonald's? So one of the other one of the other fun things. <laughs> about this game is that intelligence oh, that was. Um, intelligence uh, is the thing that determines how good your potions are 
of fire. Um, <clears throat> but agility determines how good you are at lockpicking. You say as if you have a McDonald's anywhere near you. <laughs> well, you can go on a trip, you know. So if we go here, which is locked, level 100. So I have an apprentice's lockpick and 900 agility, so... Just go in, that's fine. Hey Vivek, how you doing? You alright? You having a good time? So this is the guy who's supposed to give me gloves earlier in the game, so that I can hold the weapons that would otherwise kill me. Um, he's a god, kind of, not really. He's dead now. <laughs> With this character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you've created. He has a unique to him or artifact. Hmm. And I was god. Also, this is a meteor that he was holding up to stop crashing into the world. Evidently, he's, he can die. That's fine. Um, you can just tell people, like, hey. <laughs> like, oh, big, big, big hero. I'm the Nereverin. Have some money. Ah, oh, brilliant. They they like you now. It's great. Faith, justice, law. Oh, I haven't actually heard about the um, the expansions for this game, so I can't tell people that I killed Vivek. But I killed Vivek, so that's fun. I killed your god, don't check Go in ahead, there. Outlander. What do you need? Yeah, everyone likes me now because I saved the world. Um, but yeah, that's there you go. There's Morrowind. We killed two gods and became head of the Mages Guild. And also we can fly. But also at some point we're going to die because the health potion thing is uh, not great. <clears throat> we, uh... We added like 10,000 health to our pool um, and then took like 4,000 damage so that when the 10,000 wears off, we're going to have minus 4,000 health. It's not a great system, right? But... <laughs> For now, we've saved the world, and life's grand. Uh, let's see if we can find, just to finish, I came exactly to the right place, wonderful. Um, see if we can find ourselves. You may speak. Yes? Lord Jonavit's last dance. That's not the Lusty Argonian Maid. Where is it? Do you have the Lusty Argonian Maid? You should have the Lusty Argonian Maid, right? Ah, oh, boo. I thought you'd have the Lusty Argonian Maid. There is someone watching me. I can tell. It's me. Hi, how you doing? What is this about? Well... Damage accumulates, you just get late and charge on your health bar. Yep, <laughs> what kind of bank nonsense. <laughs> it's fine. That's why I just randomly died when I teleported back then. You may speak. Well, there we go. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's just... Very quickly. Drink all of those levitate potions. Oops, took my clothes off. <laughs> Game doesn't like it. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> We're good. We're a god. Wee. Take a quick trip to Solstheim. <laughs> After it's built navigation meshes. That might be in the planet. Here we go. <laughs> frame man's eat. This isn't frame man, this is game man. <laughs> this is spending more time loading than we are traveling. <laughs> what is this, blood bomb? There's th the three gods in this one, technically. There's Almalexia, Vivek. I can't remember what the other one would be. Well, no, okay, this way. This way to Solstein.
Game man's doing his best. We're just being unreasonable. Yes. Welcome to the home of the Nords. There's polar bears. I've never really done this DLC. It, must, well, it wasn't DLC, it was an expansion. This was before the days of DLC because you couldn't download bugger all. You know, like a castle or something, like a frost castle. This was Skyrim before Skyrim, everyone. <laughs> Big old glacier. Yeah, this. Look at that. Sothasil too, but he's off in the Clockwork City thing. Ah, okay. I have heard of Sothasil. I didn't know what it was. It's presumably a thing. Hello. You're riding a bear? No, you're riding a warthog. Nice. That's why the game makes you move slow. It needs time to load. Exactly. <laughs> Why are they fighting? What the, is this a fight? <laughs> this is fighting! <laughs> now this is fighting! <laughs> you have no business being here, stranger. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you fight unfair! This bout is over! What? <laughs> I stumbled into something very strange. <laughs> Anyway, that's a good thing to end on. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, they're the same fashion they have in Skyrim. <laughs> Why is that woman in her underwear? I don't know. She came out of sauna, I guess. That's battle. <laughs> oh, no. Good music, though. And there it goes. Uh, well, there you go. There's Morrowind in a nutshell. Um, if if anyone's ever interested, I in... see no reason to open it right now. Okay, we won't open it again. Then we'll leave it as it is. We'll close the game up and leave it alone. Um, oh, I forgot to change that. It says Ocarina of Time. Uh, but yeah, I thought I thought it would just be fun to do a one-off where we just sort of break Morrow and have a bit of fun, fly around for a bit. Um, potions, really good. Turns out. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Clickety click, click clack, make the swish go swoosh. There it is. Um, I'll be back tomorrow where we will begin Majora's Mask, a game I have not played much. I played like an hour of the beginning once. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on. Thanks for streaming this. It was very fun and silly. I'm glad. Thought it'd be a fun little little interlude, silly little thing, just messing around. He says, having spent two hours doing fetch quests. <laughs> the quest design has not changed, I assure you. Um, but there's a lot of like deep lore in this game and because obviously all of the characters mostly speak in text rather than voice lines they just wrote so much <laughs> so if you're interested in deep lore this is a good game to go for I'm not so much but uh, yeah. we should all play ESO sometimes so we can see Morrowind with more, more dimensions yes there, Morrowind is in uh, ESO and wasn't ESO free on Epic at one point so I think I have it Maybe. Might be an idea. <laughs> there you go. And I also want to play Oblivion at some point. Uh, this Poirot. Nice. We watched the, um, or I, I saw it, only saw it a little bit, but uh, the uh, John Malkovich Poirot. The ABC Murders. It looked neat. It doesn't look anything like Poirot, but it looked neat. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed the nonsense. We'll be back. Um tomorrow for me going I don't know where anything is and I'm running out of time um, and then Thursday morning for 6th anniversary doodle stream with no plans of doing anything special apart from maybe drawing M as Jesse um, and then Saturday Rogue Trader we have changed our plans with Rogue Trader I believe we are now playing instead of Kratos we are playing as Aurelia um, because it seems to fit a lot better yeah Cheap did you want to play Aurelia I think that would be that would be fun if you wanted to do that Probably the Morrowind DLC is free. They make previous DLC free when the new story will come out. Oh, nice. Drawing Emma's Jesse is very special. Yee. Yeah. 
I mean, drawing M's very special. I've drawn Mal so much last year. It's time, time for other friends to get some fun. Yeah, Borderlands Aurelia, I should specify. Because she talks, exactly, yeah. <laughs> she, she fits the role. Um, so Dark has been uh, diligently playing through the game again in the way that we did previously, but with Aurelia. So hopefully we will uh, we'll be able to carry that on on Saturday. And then Sunday, friend doodles, etc. Those of you who know the deal know the deal. Those of you who don't will discover as time goes on. Um, because I'm nothing if not a creature of habit. But ye. Have a good one, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was a, a silly time. Because Morrowind is a silly game. Um, ye. Hopefully Jeeb will be able to play. Like I say, Jeeb, Jeeb take Aurelia. Take the reins. <laughs> Take the Aurelians. Um, and then I'll sit back and just wait until we get character number five, who I will call Mumbo. Um, then I don't have a character? That's fine. I, I'm, I'm the narrator for all of the interstitial dialogue, so... <laughs> I'm the one streaming. Yeah, that's fine. These are the large swathes of um, war tales and... Other games like that where I don't do anything, so. <laughs> I like hanging out with friends. What's, what's the problem? <laughs> then we need to set up a little early so Chris can make a murk quickly. Oh, no, we don't need that. That's fine. We'll just, we'll get the next character when we get them. It's fine. Uh, but yes, anywho. Have a grand one, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Um. I just want Jeep to play Aurelia. I think it'd be fun. Seven streams later. See, I'm fine. Again, I, I'm fine just sort of sitting back and reading silly things. <laughs> I'm sure if it has a cost or not. We'll find out. But yes. Thanks for, thanks for indulging. Um, look after yourselves. And have a grand one. Uh, be good. Uh, eat well. Do not be... Uh, Enoir. Or... Uh, Swit, or whatever the other insults are in Morrowind, I can't remember them. Um, something, something, sweet roll. Have a good one, everyone. See you around. Bye.